So if you guys have been following along, you'll know that I had a couple of projects pending for the 350Z, including motor mounts from Z1 Motorsports. With my crazy uh, travel schedule, I wanted to make sure it got done, and it got done quickly and correctly. So I called in the professionals. I reached out to my buddy Tyler at Ultimate Motorsports and Racing, same shop that took care of installing the Z1 Motorsports clutch kit on the 350Z. So I knew it'd get done. I knew it'd get done correctly. Uh, he fit me in a schedule. Super busy over there at that shop. Uh, so I was really, really grateful for that. Sounds like the car is done and ready to go. So we got to go over there right now, pick it up. Uh, he did tell me that one of the motor mounts was ripped. And that, just knowing that, obviously is the source for all of the movement that we were seeing in the engine bay. If you remember uh, from a few videos back, I showed the mark on that upper, uh, you know, the plenum cover, the upper intake manifold cover, where it was rubbing the strut tower brace. So if we got a ripped motor mount, certainly the cause for that. And of course, we had a ton of movement in the shifter when we were accelerating. A lot of movement in the drive line that we were trying to eliminate. And this was really the last piece of the puzzle. So I'm excited to get in the car, see how it actually feels. And uh, yeah, let's get over it. vibration already oh my god it's hot holy shit this thing's been sitting outside just idling here at a stoplight i can feel a little just a little hint of a vibration and i'm sure a combination with the motor mounts as well as the poly trans mount a lot of that vibration is being transferred through the seat but not terrible One miles. Take a slight right turn to merge onto I-180. Not even joking around. Not even joking. I'm being totally honest here. The car feels this car feels better than it ever has before. The shifts are more direct. Uh, the car feels much more smooth and planted, if you can believe that. Somehow clutch engagement feels better. Because all that play has been eliminated from the driveline, it's a lot more forgiving with sloppy shifts. Uh, like, you know, if you're just not really paying attention, kind of, you know, when, when you're not really paying attention, you just shift the gear real quick, you're here in traffic and you mess up a little bit. Uh, it's just, it's not herky and jerky, it's still smooth. It's, well, like I said, it's more forgiving. still might be rubbing had some fresh residue some fresh red rubbing the underside of the hood i hate to bash this in but we might just have to cut this little piece out give us a little bit of a relief so the engine doesn't hit but it's weird i guess the motor mounts might raise it up a little bit but even still we were rubbing under the strut bar then i took the strut bar off and then we were rubbing the hood course we took it off because we added this riser in here the spacer plenum spacer so maybe maybe that's the deal now i don't want it to keep rubbing don't want to damage the hood hmm. obviously they're poly motor mounts so there's going to be a little bit of squish a little bit of movement there's not solid motor mounts uh, but i'm curious to see if there's any change uh, but then we really want to get the car out and rip it so it's gonna get let's get the gopro charged up get this thing warmed up and uh, get her back out on the road
vibration at idle. That's when you can feel the engine mounts. We'll see. Yeah, even with it out of gear and the clutch out. But, I mean, if this is as bad as it is, not bad at all. This car feels so good now. I was actually really kind of, well, I wasn't nervous because I don't really give a shit, but I was a little bit worried that the uh, vibration from the uh, poly engine mounts would be a little bit too harsh, but it feels great. that are happening I don't care where you're at in the country uh, any so sort of event that might be of interest over the next six months let me know about it because there's a chance I might be able to make it I, I'm, I'm planning some extensive travel for work and uh, I may or may not be in your area in the coming months so let me know in the comments below what you guys got going on parts though has become really clear and that is engine mounts, trans mount, rear diff bushing set, and the rear subframe bushing collars. Those four elements combined really makes the car feel so much better. Combining them all together this it feels like a totally different car on the road. I, I'm loving it. Great combination. Big shout out again to Ultimate Motorsports and Racing for getting me in quick and getting these things installed right. But the question remains, are they worth it? Car actually, honestly, feels like a totally different animal now on the road. Uh, handles so well, so nimbly. Car feels so tight. And that's thanks to all of the components that have been installed to, in this car up to this point. But the poly motor mounts really make a big difference. They're not an easy installation per se, but I will say if you have headers already installed, aftermarket headers installed on this uh, 350Z, it'll be a lot easier. This gives you a little bit more room to access the nuts that you need to get to in order to get the old motor mounts out. The vibration really isn't bad at all. You can really only feel it at idle. Uh, and if that's the biggest problem, then it's not even worth talking about, to be quite honest. The shifts, as I mentioned earlier, feel more smooth and more direct. It almost makes the car more forgiving if your shifts aren't perfect. Uh, it just feels more smooth, like uh, your transmission is engaging better. Of course, that has a little bit to do with the trans mount that we installed as well. But again, eliminating all that slop in the driveline just makes the car feel so much better. So is, are these worth it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's not. It's honestly not even a question. At this point, these cars are 10, 15, geez, 20 years old now at this point. This is a 2003. So um, you're on the factory engine mounts. Tyler told me uh, that one of mine was ripped. I forgot to get a picture of that. It's night and day. It's night and day. Now, shout out again to Z1 Motorsports for being such a supporter, such a good supporter of this channel. And they have been for a couple of years now. So I'm very, very appreciative of that. More stuff coming for the Z. We got those control arms to install. More stuff coming for the Titan and all the cars in the fleet and big things coming for the channel. So hope you guys will stick around. Check all the links in the description below. There's a lot of stuff happening and you might want to just check them out. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Thanks for the continued support up to this point. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the little bell notification as well if you don't mind. We'll see you in the next one.